You can now finally create quality notes with text in GoodNote 6. With their latest update, GoodNotes added a few new features and one of them is the new text document feature. We did have something similar to this before, but it just wasn't as functional or useful as it is now. So I'm just going to be going over how to use this new feature and everything you need to know to take advantage of this new feature. I did also do a whole video on the new whiteboard feature that they also released, so I'll have that video linked in the description box below if you're interested in checking it out. But okay, let's get into using text documents in GoodNotes 6. Now when you go into GoodNotes, you will see it looks slightly different. So now when you want to create a new notebook, text document, whatever you want to do, you're going to have to click on this button right here that says new and it will show you all the options that is available in GoodNotes for different types of documents, notebook, text document, whiteboard. So we're going to be going into text doc and then this is what the layout looks like. So here you will see it says write type forward slash for quick tools or ask. And that's kind of like asking GoodNotes AI for something. So start writing, set a goal, create outline, help me brainstorm, and you can just basically ask it anything. Now, some of the AI features will be a bit limited depending on what plan you're on on GoodNotes. If you go to GoodNotes' websites, you can see all the different plans and what features are included in each plan. But if you're just on the regular paid version of GoodNotes 6, which is the one that I'm on, you will have access to the new whiteboard feature and the new text document feature and all that. Again, some of the AI features will just be a bit limited, but I do just recommend taking a look at this if you want to see what are all the different versions of GoodNotes 6 and what you get in each version. But bottom line, you're still going to be able to use the text document feature and all that with your just essential plan for GoodNote 6. So this is the layout for our text document. It's very similar to Notion. If you've ever used that, you're gonna feel really at home with this. So you have your title here. So I'm just gonna write title. And then here at the top, you will see we have a few functions. So this here will bring up some formatting things. So you can see all the different headings. You can add code, quote, paragraph. You can do all your text formatting. So I'm just gonna select this text and you can go here for bold, italicized, underline, strike through. You will see that all changes my text here. So you can access all of those settings right from here. And you can also here play around with colors. So they have a few presets. You're kind of limited with what colors you're using, but you just have these here. And you can also choose a background color. So that's kind of like a highlight. So you can also do that. So then I'm just gonna choose this one here. So now this is what my title looks like. So you can, of course, add in more than one heading one. You're not limited to just one title for your text document. And then of course you have all the other types of headings, but I will get into all that. And then you have here your lists, so bulleted list, numbered list. This is a toggle list, which I will get to, a checklist. And then this here will allow you to create columns within your document. So this is just created three different columns. It's really hard to show on camera, but I'll put in like a photo just so you can see. Here you will see some options also pop up for these columns, which allows you to distribute them. It just gives you all those options, but I will get to all that in a bit. Just gonna delete this for now. So once you're in your text document, your best friend is gonna be the forward slash option. So I'm just gonna click forward slash and then you will see all the different things you can put in your text document pop up. I'm just gonna go through these just to show you what the differences look like. To really save time, the best thing is to do a forward slash and then you can start typing what you want to include. So I want heading one. So I'm just gonna type a one and heading one is gonna pop up. So I'm then I'm gonna choose that one. So this is heading one. So just to show you what some of the basic text formatting looks like. So this is what a paragraph looks like. Here we have our different headings. So of course you can have a heading, a subheading, and then some paragraph text in between. This is a bulleted list. This is a numbered list. And this is a to-do list. This is really nice since you can tick off the boxes just like that. So if you want to make a to-do list or something, you can have that here. And then we have here toggles. So I think this is like a type of list as well. So this allows you to give some more information and hide it and or show it with these toggles. So for instance, you can use like a question, for instance, I did this a lot when I was doing revisions for school. So then you had like a question and then within the toggle, you can write the answer. So you can hide that away or just bring it up. You can even have like full on headings within a toggle so this is a heading again. And then I can also just 
hide that again so you can have like different sections within your notes that you can quickly hide away if you want to here's another toggle and i can just go in and write some more information about whatever i wrote within that toggle and then i can also just hide that away so those are just like the basic text elements and this is going to be really nice for note taking within classes i think you have so many different things you can add in then next what i want to cover is that you can also just add like a code block i did take it when i was in high school and this was really nice for some of those notes if i wanted to have a certain part of code to just reference in my notes you can also set here plain text text or what type of code it is they have a few different options here that you can choose from so you can choose the right format for you so that's really nice and you can also just copy the code directly from here they have a quick little copy icon here for you as well then a really nice feature is you can also add tables and there are a few things you can do with tables within the text document so i'm going to click that and then a basic table will appear with two columns and two rows when you're in your table you can also play around with the different background colors so you can set your cells and give them different colored backgrounds if you want to you can also select multiple cells here you can select merge cells then it's just all gonna be one cell you can also delete your entire table in this little menu bar or you can go ahead and insert rows before or after that row that you're currently in or you can delete a row here is again insert column before insert column after so i'm just going to show you what that looks like and then also you can go ahead and delete an entire column as well. So that's the basics of using tables. It is a very basic function. It's nothing too complicated. You can just basically set your rows, columns. And when you're doing your text, you can select your text and then go ahead and play around with formatting. So I just right clicked and I'm gonna set it to bold for the title ones. Or what you can also do is you can just go to this AA and add in the different types here. So I'm gonna add in heading three. So you can even add like lists or maybe checklists within a cell within a table. So you aren't just limited to just text within your tables as well. You can use some of the other elements that they have here within the text document feature. Then we have block quote here. It just brings this little line here that kind of indicates it's a quote and then you can add it in. Usually it is italicized as default. Then you can add in a divider. This is really nice for your notes. So that is just gonna be like a little break in between different sections of notes. It's just a basic divider. You can also, of course, add in different types of media. So for instance, you can add in images. So you can upload a file and then you can choose what you where you wanna get that file, whether you wanna get it from your photo library, take a photo with the camera, or just choose a file from the files app. I'm just gonna choose photo library and add in an image. So then this is what the image looks like and you can play around with the sizing. So you will see at the sides of your image, you will get these toggles. It's kind of hard to see, but then you can resize your image here. And you can also set what you want the alignment to be for an image by selecting it, clicking on align, and then you can set left, center, or right. So I'm gonna set mine to left. So then that is what it's going to look like now. Then apart from images, you can of course include video or audio files as well. Then here in the advanced elements section, you have a few options. So here you can add a table of contents. I'm just going to add this at the top of my document just because so, I think it makes sense. Table of contents, add that in. So it's going to show you wherever a heading is and then you can quickly jump to that heading so i want to go to this heading here obviously it's going to tell you what the heading says it's not just going to say heading so if i call this one table in my table of contents that's going to say table so this is really nice if you have a long text document with a bunch of different headings and you want to quickly jump to one i usually think this is a nice thing to have at the beginning of your text document to quickly jump to certain sections then like i already showed you quickly with the formatting section you have three columns here you can add that in i'm gonna set a heading here i'm gonna call it section one and then within these columns you can of course add more things like for instance you can add 
add in just regular text lists if you want to you can even add in like images into each section and there we have our three different sections with our images of course you can also rearrange these and kind of resize them in a way using these options that we have here so if i want this middle column to be bigger than the other two i can select this option here and it will automatically resize it for me if you already have like three columns and then you select like the two column option then the third column will basically just merge with the second one and then also you can have columns within columns i did not think that would be possible but i'm gonna go here to three columns and then it adds in three columns within this column which can be pushing it a bit but it is an option so that is how you can use columns to have different sections within your notes this is kind of similar to tables but it's just built into the text document it doesn't have like the outline that a table has so that is also a really nice option to get more organized notes i think and then lastly you also have the equation option so you can add an equation to your text notes as well if you want to do that then the last few options in this forward slash menu is you have a date so you can just go ahead and set your dates here it will bring up a little calendar so if you want to have different dated sections within a text document you can do that that's a really nice way to also like divide different sections of your notes i think and then lastly we just have inline equation which is basically like the equation that we just had but it's just basically going to be in line with the rest of the text in your document so those are all the little elements that you can access using the forward slash menu here you also just have your color options which I already covered in this little AA menu so some of the things you can also access there as well but like I already said getting familiar with the forward slash menu is going to be really helpful so you can just quickly type in to do and then you can select it and quickly make a list of to do's just quickly so i really recommend getting comfortable using the forward slash menu then just for some other options that we have here at the top so we already covered this this is just to quickly create a table you can click on that little option this is also just to quickly add in an image or a photo which again you can also just do from the forward slash menu but the, it's an option here as well and this is to do like an audio recording within GoodNotes. So that's how you can now use text within GoodNotes. I'm really happy that we now have this option so that you can finally have good quality text notes, not just the basics that we had within GoodNotes before. You don't need to go into a separate app to take your text notes, especially if you already have all your notes for a certain class in GoodNotes. You don't have to go into a different app to just do like a basic text note. So I'm glad that they added this in. I'm going to go to the home screen just to show you. So this is what document will now look like. It will give you like a little preview of your document here. I'm just going to quickly mention you can use the AI. So to use it, you can access it here and here the power of ai in your notebook and it will just bring up this little box so i'm gonna ask it when was goodnotes 6 released let's see what it gives us a content may be inaccurate it does tell you that but here it says goodnotes 6 was released on august 14th 2023 they introduced several new features including improved handwriting recognition blah blah blah, blah. so then it will give you some information and then you can add some follow-up information. So you do have access to GoodNotes AI within these documents. Again, you might just be limited with what you can do depending on the plan that you have for GoodNotes. That is also an option built into GoodNotes. You can all obviously also access that through the forward slash menu, GoodNotes AI, and then you can ask it any question. So that's the new text document feature in GoodNotes 6. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below if there's anything that's unclear. If you have any questions, definitely leave those in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.